it's unbelievable. And honestly, it's that's just what they saw outside the courthouse. You you zoom out as you do in this film, and you see the fall of Minneapolis.com. You see the politicians right up to the president of the United States, or at least the man who was about to be president of the United States, calling, like calling this case out, taking a position on it. Nancy Pelosi, the then Speaker of the House, taking a position before the jury had ever had its say. In a court of law, you show it. We're going to show a bit of it here. Uh, take a look at SOT 19. Shaven is in the courtroom, but America's on trial. All right. Thank you, George Floyd, for sacrificing oh, your life for justice. But even Dr. King's assassination did not have the worldwide impact that George Floyd's death did. I mean... You couldn't find more prominent people. Speaker of the House, the Democratic nominee for president. By the way, Joe Biden seems so much more vibrant just, just three years ago in that clip than he does now. It's kind of amazing to see. Um, think of the odds against these cops, these, these cops who'd been demonized. You show, I'd never seen this in the film. They were throwing dead pigs at the cops outside of the precinct, Liz. Yeah, it's, it's amazing everything that they... <laughs> were were they were basically paraded also the, these police officers during their their court hearings uh, before they decided to to let them access some of the the back ways to get into the courthouse but that was uh, what was happening in the in the early days they allowed the mob to basically get as close as possible and throw things at them uh, for their court hearings and, and such and you also Megan have this twenty seven million dollar uh, settlement with George Floyd's family right. uh, that that is announced during during jury selection for Derek Chauvin's trial uh, that a lot of people don't remember the details of, of that as well. But we wanted to bring that to light too. The images of this courthouse are insane. Uh, you know, National Guardsmen standing guard there, barbed wire. And remember, the jury wasn't sequestered uh, for Derek Chauvin's trial. So they were parading in and out um, each and every day um, through all of this. So what kind of- Right, what's the barbed wire for? That the barbed wire is there in case you reach the wrong decision. Just as FYI, if you reach the wrong decision, your city is going to burn. Like it's never even burned before, including after George Floyd died. So just so you know, and by the way, if that's not clear enough, listen to Maxine Waters and others making perfectly clear what is expected of you. Here is SOT 20. We're looking for a guilty verdict. We're looking for a guilty verdict. What should protesters do? Well, we, we got to stay on the street uh, and we've got to get more active. We've got to get more confrontational. We've got to make sure that they they know that we need business. This council is going to dismantle this police department. This is city councilman. All right, they're telling me to say it again. This council is going to dismantle this police department. Do you believe there is systemic racism in law enforcement? Absolutely. Our commitment is to end our city's toxic relationship with the Minneapolis T Police Department. To end policing as we know it. This is, this is the part that makes me upset. What human can get a fair trial with that? Well, for, take Derek Chauvin out of it. Maybe you hate Derek Chauvin. You've made up your mind. You don't forgive him for the eight minutes, whatever. You don't buy the MRT. You believe in the rule of law. We have to, we ha as flawed as it may be and its application may be, we've seen it this year. We have to provide criminal defendants against whom the system is stacked, no question, with a fair trial, with, with a process that ensures fairness to the best that we are able to provide it. This is exactly the opposite of it. JC, you, you, you write, you talk about in the film, this is why cop after cop, they're out of there. That after this, you know, what happened to these guys? Who in their right mind would go out on the streets of Minneapolis and make arrests, especially a white cop? But it could, you could be a black cop too, as Officer King, of a black defendant. Forget it. It's insane. Yeah. And amazingly, one of the worst things I've actually had to deal with in, in working on this documentary just happened a few weeks ago when we finished up. And I was on the, on the phone with Derek and he said to me, I just want you and everyone else to know that if I had to go back in time, 
I would do this all over again so nobody else would have to. Mm. Even where he is right now. And I have tremendous respect for anyone who can say that. And this is a person who, let's, let's not even talk about impartiality because that went out the window with all this propaganda and let's just call these leaders, so-called leaders, sock puppets. They're great at it. Let's get rid of that for a second because it's not in play. Where's the civility? We have all of this self-righteousness, this political righteousness that's overcome any sense of civility and unreasonable doubt that now has become the most unreasonable thing going. That should really give everyone, everyone, we are against this same system of justice, a moment to pause and say, wait a minute, I don't like what America has become, what the American mm -hmm. justice system has become. This isn't us. And very few people what, are recognizing that. Yes, ma'am. What, what do you think he meant by that, that he would, he would do it all over again? Like the behaviors with Floyd or, you know, going to jail? Like what, do you, what did he mean? I think, and I, I asked him up when I, you know, this was, this was tough. I'd love to be the tough guy right now and say I didn't have a lump in my throat when he said that to me on the other end of the phone calling from prison. What he meant was so that another officer, someone else, would not have to suffer this indignity, this tragedy, this being thrown under the bus. He sort of reckoned that I guess it was my role as an officer to take this. Yeah. Oh, and if God. that's what it is, then I will take that so no other officer has to deal with that. And you also have in the film Alex King speaking to this as well. I asked that question kind of again and again of everyone. What does this say about our justice system in America? Right. And why I also say that even if you don't have a connection to, to law enforcement, this case is so important if you are a citizen of this country. Right. Uh, this is the, the system we're supposed to believe in. Um, and, you know, it's hard to watch this this film and believe in it um, any, anymore uh, after whatever, what everything that allowed, was allowed to transpire. But you have Alex King speaking to that, um, saying that if there's one thing that people can take away from this case, it's that we can't be um, so quick to judge. Don't let the mob control. Don't let the media right. manipulate you. Uh, we are smarter than this as, as a human race, I think. Um, you know, and question, question these, these things. And, that, and that's what the message that, that he seemed to, to want to share. But you weren't allowed to question anything. You know, you guys weren't here, but I've told the story a few times now on the show, but just quickly, my fourth grade daughter, then fourth grade daughter was in a Tony New York private school at this time. And the teachers handed out a New Zilla article on Chauvin's um, case. And he had just been convicted. And the girls read up some facts and they said, the, the teacher stood up and said, there's a massive problem in America with police killing black men. And one of the girls raised her hand and said, well, wasn't George Floyd resisting arrest? And the teacher said, they always blame the victim. And then my daughter said, well, wasn't George Floyd on a lot of drugs? And the teacher said, this conversation is making me uncomfortable and I'm shutting it down right now. Even at the fourth grade level, you were not allowed to talk about the bad facts for the, we all hate Derek Chauvin side. You, even when that's the assignment is to discuss the verdict and how they got there, you're just not allowed to discuss anything that the defense offered up because it makes people uncomfortable, makes them feel like yep. maybe they're in the presence of a bigot. That's the whole thing got spun into a race narrative, even though there was no evidence that Derek Chauvin was a racist at all. He just happened to be white. Floyd happened to be black. That's, people forget that. This is not a cop spewing expletives or, you know, slurs, nothing like that. Nothing like that came out. It's not a Furman situation where there's like secret tapes of him using the N-word. Thanksgiving is one week away. It's time. We got to get on our horse. I mean, it's time. Thanksgiving is one week away. That means the best GenuCell sale of the year. Yay. And just in time for the holidays, the GenuCell most popular package is back for you to look stunning for your Thanksgiving gatherings. And with the brand new GenuCell 3 also included, you could look 10, 15, even 20 years younger with the best natural skincare anywhere. This is one of the things I love about the GenuCell products. They're not riddled with like weird perfumes. They're clean. The packaging is lovely. It's elegant. They don't overwhelm you with a bunch of scents and all that stuff. 
Uh, Sunny from Rockford, Illinois knows. She wrote in, I will give Genucel five stars because the products they do, they send, do exactly what they promise to do. It's working. Take advantage of the Genucel best sale of the year and say goodbye to fine lines, crow's feet, bags and puffiness, laugh lines, and dark spots. Look and feel your absolute best or you get your money back. No questions asked. Go to genucel.com slash MK podcast for better than 70% off on Genucel's most popular package with Genucel 3 and Dark Spot Corrector. And for results in 12 hours or less, you get the immediate effects product included for free. Genucel.com slash MK, Genucel.com slash MK podcast. If you could include MK podcast, that would let them know that you heard of us here. Uh, and go there now for a free upgrade to priority shipping. G-E-N-U-C-E-L dot com slash MK podcast. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.